What's going down, y'all? It's the Wake Up Crew here to talk some NBA Finals prop bets over on Prize Picks for this Monday, June the 13th, NBA Finals uh, Game 5 matchup between the Warriors and the Boston Celtics. Quick recap of the plays that we talked about last night. Hit, 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 hit. Jason Tatum's, we talked about his uh, rebounds and assists, crushed that number. And then Steph Curry, four and a half threes was a lot, but we felt good. Put him on the thumbnail. And Steph Curry went off. Uh, great performance from him. We also talked about, Jay, you talked about Andrew Wiggins over his points. Yep. He hit that. The usage rate for Wiggins uh, this series has been incredible. We talked about Robert Williams over his blocks. Prize Picks had it up at two. It's been moved up. Blocks and steals, I think, is at two and a half. But Bob Williams hit that number. Overall, fantastic day of betting on Game 4 of the NBA Finals. We went back to the model. We got my Spari up. We text some uh, some predictions from my Spari. Look at props.cash. We got some more data-driven plays. I think we'll have some good ones for the people today. So let's dive into it right now, baby. For all the high-flying action, take a step back and relax. It's time to count that money. The NBA props. No look any further. You know what time it is. Presented by Prize Picks. NBA props. Let's count that money, man. All right, Jay. Let's uh let's pull up old prize picks because I'm going back to a three-point prop tonight. I'm gonna stay in the flames as long as he's gonna gun. I'm gonna rock with him. And I'm talking about JT, Jason Tatum. Over three points, uh, three three-point shots made in this matchup. You see he's hit or pushed this number in three of four games this series. And one thing about Jason Tatum, we pull up uh, his kind of his shot chart, and this is what I love to see when we're talking about a three-point prop. I need somebody that's gunning him, right, in this series. Five, nine, nine, and eight attempts. He's averaging 8.2 versus Golden State, playing damn near every minute of every game, uh, you know, back in San Francisco, Jason Tatum is going to have to be great. And this is what we like to see. So the book line is three and a half juice to the under, but on prize picks, we're getting the number at three. Anytime prize picks is giving us a number and a line lower, you know, if we want to take an over or higher, if we want to take an under then the book line, that's some built in edge and advantage to our favor. I like Jason Tatum over three, three-pointers made in game five, Jay. Yeah. I mean, it's the line that I've played a lot with Jason Tatum. And so I do really like it a lot. I, you know, three and a half is usually what we see at sometimes even as high as four and a half. I've told you before, I told you last game, Jason Tatum will not hesitate to chuck it. And that's one of the reasons why I love him. If he plays great, he's going over his three point prop, regardless of what his point number is. If he plays pretty damn well, he's going over. So I do like that number a lot. I even, you know, Ray, we're we're here with the three point props, yeah. but I still like Andrew Wiggins at one and a half, man. I like he's not gonna hit three, but <laughs> three of four games he's hit two, and that's all you need him to hit. He hit it last game. We talked about it before the show, and I believe we talked about it on the show. I don't hate it, but yeah. I would rather go after Andrew Wiggins' fantasy score. And the main reason why is because, you know, at my Spari, he projected for 36. He only has a line of 32 right now. Wiggins is going to be the primary defender against Tatum. You see what he's put up over the last five games. And, you know, even the four this series, he's gone three of four. I love Wiggins in this matchup. His usage rate is through the roof. He's in a lot of ways, he's supplanted what Clay is supposed to yep. be. Clay's supposed to be the yep. scorer, the primary defender. And Wiggins has taken on that role in full force, will play a ton of minutes. Like you mentioned, Jason Tatum probably going to play 44 minutes today. I expect Wiggins to match those minutes. And with that small switch of putting Looney um, on the bench and bringing Otto in, Wiggins had 11 rebounds last game. And so on top of that, I think there's going to be more rebound opportunities. And I just love Wiggins in this matchup. A lot of reasons to take the over. And I think Wiggins is going to smash again tonight in Golden State. Yeah, it's a good, it's an astute observation that you've made. Wiggins has assumed sort of that number two option role with Steph Curry. The usage rate is insane. Um, he's getting it done offensively scoring the basket. Uh, he'll give you a couple of dimes. He's good on the boards and he's a really good defender. Um, so I really like this, and like we said, our projection model, my Spari, has him to go over this fantasy score of 32, as well as Marcus Smart, over 30 fantasy score. And you look at what Smart has done this series, he's only he's only failed to hit this number one time in this series, and it was game two. I don't know what the hell happened where he had 9.9 .9 fantasy score, but he's averaging 33.7 over his last five. 
I believe Spari, what do we have him for? 36 fantasy score? 33? 33. 33, 33 yeah, that's where he's at. Uh, last game, 40.3, 34.9, so 35. I like this number for Marcus Smart. So I, I would go over Marcus Smart's fantasy score as well. Um, you know, the, Jay, any other plays out there that you're – you're looking at, you're going to monitor closer to tip off that you kind of like. I know for, for right now, kind of the core two, Jason Tatum over three, three pointers made Andrew Wiggins over 32 fantasy score. I do like Marcus smart over 30 fantasy score. Is there anything else that you're looking at or you're liking tonight? I mean, the one that I was looking at was going back to Tatum for the rebounds and assist number. Like we mentioned, Tatum had a double double last time and he, I believe he still had five assists. Like it's just one that I like in these close games, in these tight moments when you're looking at a guy like Jason Tatum and he's, he's the guy that's going to take Boston over the hump, right? And you can see here, he's hitting this number consistently. And we, and we talked about this last time as well. I think there's another world where he does go over again. You know, the line did move up on the sports books two, three. 213 and a half but with the way he's playing i could see another double double in his future today and so overall you know he's been a guy who has been dishing a lot of assists especially in this series and i talked about how you don't necessarily want to have to choose is he going to hit the assists or is he going to hit the rebounds you kind of take both yeah and usually he's been going way over on one or the other and so i do like this prop overall you see kind of here the edge is definitely to the over at five and a half on on uh, the book line for his assist yep. but on prize picks it is six so we're not really getting that edge overall right. and i know that you wanted to talk about jalen brown a little bit because you've, you've been loving jalen brown yeah his threes are down to two and a half and we weren't all in on jalen brown at two and a half threes but at least we're getting it at two and a half instead of three you know i have much more confidence in jalen brown to hit three threes to give you an actual winning number instead of having to push at three. Um, I do think that's another pretty good bet overall. When Jalen Brown's at two and a half threes, I have been taking it more likely than not. And the other one I was looking at, Ray, was Robert Williams under his points, rebounds, and assists, only because I'm not sure how he's going to play on the road, right? And I've talked about this before. At home, the dude has been straight cash money. Yeah. But on the road, for whatever reason, he kind of gets played out of these games. I think we're going to see a lot of Jordan Poole in this matchup. We'll see Kevon Looney, but we've seen Robert Williams fall out of the rotation a little bit on the road. But I think part of that is because of Grant Williams and his whole thing with Draymond Green. So I, I do believe that Robert Williams will play a little bit more, but his road splits are yeah. strikingly terrible. And that's my biggest problem is that as much as I like him at home, on the road, he's been a completely different guy, and it's difficult to bet on that guy right now. Even though he's got a low number, even though he smashes his fantasy score every time he plays a lot of minutes, I just can't say I'm all in on Bob Williams for today simply because he's on the road, man. And I just, I'm I'm too influenced by those road splits. Yeah. They may mean nothing, but they mean enough to me to maybe stay away from the play overall. Yeah, I mean, he's, like you said, on the road, he has not been good. 14 and 5 in the first two games of the series, and then he goes home and goes nuts. Listen, the projection model has an under for Robert Williams points, rebounds, and assists. So um, I, I think it's I think it's a fine play um, if you want to take the under. And it's like he has not been good. Like you look at it, you know, points, rebounds, and assists. And now it's juiced to the over. But those splits uh, versus Golden State on the road, not good. Want to touch on one more, one more play before we get out of here. Derek White. And let's just look at everything from Derek White. Let's just look at... Yeah. What everything is points, 12 and a half rebounds at two, um, which is a low number. Uh, he's only averaging two assist at two, another low number, not really averaging that, but man, defensively, man, he's just, he's a, he's a problem, right? Defensively he gets a couple of steals. Uh, you know, he's good for like the fantasy score sitting at 21. Where are you at with Derek white? Do you want to, do you want to dabble in some Derek white today? Or do we just need to stay away from the role player on the road? I mean, I don't hate it, right? He's been he's been the guy who's really stepped up for them. I think the only one you want to look at is the block shots because the blocks are the one that's kind of surprising from Derek White. You don't expect it, but he can surprise you with a block every now and then. Yeah. I mean, you see three of his last five games, twice this series. He's he can get a block, right? It's so it's not it's not crazy to think that he could go over. Um, again, it, I think in a lot of ways you maybe just want to go after the points. Like what yeah. are the points at twelve and a half? Um, that's where he seems to get a lot of the production overall so i don't hate it at 12 and a half you know he can go over that number he's gone over twice this series so far and he has a game where he hit 12 so he's right right there um but it is a little bit higher than we're hoping for you know there was early in this series he was at like nine and a half ten and a half now he's all the way up to 12 and a half a little bit more than i'd like but don't hate it overall for Derek white 
Last player, we can't get out of here without talking about the chef, Steph Curry. Um, he's going to have to have another big game in order for Golden State to get this done. Any interest on Steph Curry tonight, whether it's the points, rebounds, and assists? I know my Spari, uh, the projection model, likes his fantasy score tonight. I mean, these are big numbers for Steph Curry. 54, four, uh, 49, 41, 56 fantasy score. Steph Curry at home. Do you like Curry's fantasy score? Do you like his points and rebounds? Do you like... Uh, his rebounds and assists number. Is there anything that you want to dabble with with Steph Curry? 30 and a half points. Um, just, it seems and a half high, points but is man, the, damn. It's the only one I can take. You talk about this series. What has he done? He's put up 29 points every game this series minimum. He put up 31. He put up 34. He put up 43 last game. They need him tonight. If you if you want to bet on anything, um, I think with those three prop with the three point prop being at five, um, it's a little bit tougher to take that number. But at thirty and a half points, again, he's he's averaging much higher than thirty points, and he's hit twenty nine or better every game this series. Yeah. So I can't really hate if you want to take Steph Curry. He's got to basically do what he's done all series long, and that's put up thirty points, right? And I think he can do that tonight. They're going to need him too, especially. So if you like Steph Curry, I think the thirty and a half points is probably your best bet because you know that he can get buckets. Will he do it with the three-point shot? Probably. Most nights he does, but maybe he'll just decide to just lay it up a couple times and just get some free buckets. You know, he's it's not something he's shied away from. And even if you want to go after a first half for Steph Curry, that's another option yeah. as well because he has lit it up in the first half. But we know that Golden State also comes on really hard in the third quarter, yep. and he yep. gets a lot of buckets then too. So I, I still think the full game total is the way to go. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, 29 points this series as his floor – and he's been pretty damn good. It's hard to argue with how well he's playing with the 43 he just dropped a few days ago. Jay, I'm not going to lie to you. This Steph Curry over 20 and a half points, rebounds, and assists looks good, man. 27, 23, 16, and 26 um, over his last four in this series. Uh, this first half number for Curry looks pretty damn good, man. I'm I'm yeah. kind of liking that as, you know, even Wiggins, man, 14, 16, 16 we might have to we'll um we'll we'll run and look at some of these first half numbers but that might be a, that might that might be a nice edge in the first half i'm kind of digging that but right now the core plays jason tatum over three three-pointers made andrew wiggins over 32 fantasy score and marcus smart over 30 fantasy score jay i think we need to look at some of those first half numbers man i'm uh curry curry is enticing at 20 and a half points sure. rebounds and assists in the first half uh, but appreciate you tapping into the content. If you like what we're doing, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. Let us know what you're playing in the comments. And we've got a long time until the tip off. So if we find anything else that we like, whether that's first half, whether that's the full game, we'll drop it in the comments below. We ain't gonna make you pay for picks. Just leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. That's all you gotta do, baby. So uh, enjoy the NBA games on tonight. We got WNBA stuff. Uh, tomorrow, I believe. I don't think there are any WNBA games on today. I don't think. I need to check. Shit, I didn't think they were on any yesterday, Jane. We had four WNBA games on, so got a little confused there. Uh, MLB, you got some MLB props coming out today, later today? I'll do I'll do baseball tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna okay. I'm going to be busy today, but yeah, we'll do baseball tomorrow. We got NBA today. That's kind of where the focus yep, was for yep. the research. Get back yep. to baseball tomorrow. Um, but yeah, man, we'll be back to baseball tomorrow for sure. Y'all know what it is. Data driven. If you tail, give prize picks hell, and if we fail, don't bail. Enjoy the games. Good luck and good night.